submit to Allah and his messenger. When the, when the banning of alcohol was revealed, although it was done in stages, the final stage, the Sahaba, they were allowed to drink, but certain times it was prohibited. And if the Malik reports that when the ayah came that it is haram now, khalas, you have to get rid of it. Keep in mind, these were companions and sahaba believers that were used to drinking. They had it in their homes. يقول أليس بن مالك I was saqi I was كنت أسقي طلحة ابن عبد الله I used to pour the wine and the alcohol for them and then the ayat came down and they had it all in front of them أهرقها he said get rid of it immediately there was no but can we at least keep the ones that we've already bought and made there was no questioning there was no challenging there was only submitting the smaller laws the ones that affect the community, the ones that affect the person, the morals, the ethics, the halal, the haram, you don't distinguish. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala connects our uh, submitting to him to our belief in him. You can't separate them. You can't say, I believe in Allah. But this aspect of Islam is, I, I don't accept there's a few things that we need to look at one is how can we increase our submittance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the other thing is why is it that we have this zahir this new thing where people are selectively choosing the aspect of Islam that they like and we have to also when we are teaching Islam when we are propagating Islam when we're talking about our faith we should speak about it in a way where we are proud of it we are meant to be spreading it. We're meant to be the people that represent it. All of it. And you don't distinguish one, every aspect of our faith. Min alif ilaya. All of it. Don't shy away. You're following the ways of the prophets. 